This beautiful thing in front of you is a Victor, AKA dumbass designed and uh, constructed even system 11 N CPU board. And it is, uh, it's just a beautiful work of art. He's got uh, options on here for the 11 N seven segment display or the uh, later on the three LEDs. Here's the uh, flipper relay, or you could have put the one of the, the bigger ones on, which those things cost about 25, 30 bucks a piece now. You can use as a cheaper alternative. It's got a daughter card for the amplifier section, which you don't need in 11C MPUs. And uh, this is the uh, D to A conversion. It's got the 1408 and the 55536 CVSD on it. This does the um, digital to analog conversion for sounds and the 55536 does the voices, a couple of 1458 amplifiers on there. And this fits nicely over uh, some of the other components on this board. And what I found with this board, because I never get these in for repair because they just work, is uh, that the 6802 that the client had transplanted from his high-speed board has got alkaline corrosion all over it. So I swapped that out with one of my NOS 6802s and I've got a background sound board precariously perched up there because I really got to clean up this mess. Jesus Christ, who can work around this stuff? Tink, that's what you want to hear. Lamp Matrix doing its thing. Solenoid's perfectly fine. This is a coin lockout solenoid. And let's get into test. Now all that sound was coming from the background soundboard, which you don't even need a functioning sound section on the MPU board for that to work because the sounds are just produced on the background soundboard and routed through the analog circuitry eventually on the MPU board. Displays are perfect. So before I repaired the board, there was no sound there at all. Quite clearly the sound section was inoperative and I found the the microprocessor just wasn't running. High speed did not multiplex the first eight solenoid circuits as was done in later boards. This board also had a blown Q69 on it from a locked on or at some point in time from a previous board um, lower pop bumper. So the client I hope has changed out that pop bumper coil. Special solenoids working correctly. And what are we up to next? Switch edges. 52 switches reported by high speed. And there we go. This one's already on free play. You do that with adjustment 23. So I'm gonna cycle through the adjustments and it reboots and we get that famous tink sound. So this board is good to go. I'm gonna contact the individual and he can get it back to Kansas City. He's got some grandkids he says loves playing the game. And uh, thank you so much for dropping it by.